Uh, Warmly welcome back everybody to YouTube channel BTC TV and we continue video series about famous people in the blockchain industry. Today I'm happy to present to you Marco. Nice to see you here. Nice to meet you. Uh, can you a little bit make introduction because I know who you are, right? Uh, can you make a little bit introduction to our subscribers, uh, who you are and what you are doing? Yes, yeah, sure. I'm uh, Marco Streng, the CEO of uh, Genesis Mining and the Genesis Group, and um, we are. Um, uh, on the Genesis mining side, we have started 2013. We're one of the first blockchain uh, companies in the world, and uh, we uh, are making mining accessible for everyone. Uh, we're building large scale mining operations, and we're uh, giving everyone the possibility to join uh, mining in the, uh, to do mining in the cloud, uh, and basically give all the benefits of large scale operations uh, back to, to the people at home, where Normally now, uh, home miners have a big disadvantage when they're when they're yeah. mining at home, and we want to equalize that. And we want to uh, um, give everyone the same uh, economical advantages and benefits in mining. As far as I understand, uh, your company is the largest mining company for Ethereum network. Is it correct? Yeah, uh, I mean, and <laughs> no one knows. Uh, um, um, I no no one knows how every miner in the world but there's an indication of course that we are probably are. one of the largest yeah. mining is coming harder and harder uh, like every six months as every year and uh, how do you your companies handle that um we i think that mining is really a treadmill of, of innovation i think it's very important to um, always stay ahead of the curve and it requires a lot of um, costs and a lot of efforts and a lot of brain power in order to do that uh, you constantly have to improve your your uh, your systems you have to improve your infrastructure you have to take care that you are getting lowest electricity prices and um, and uh, that's why what, what, what drives us. And um, looking back, for example, for the last few years, uh, we are very proud that we have uh, now launched our newest technology, which is called RIAND. Okay. And uh, yeah. that has, has been, uh, what is the outcome of, uh, of, of over, over several years of, of innovating, hard work, and uh, optimizing to the end of everything involved in the mining process. Uh, a couple of days ago, uh, we spoke with John McCarthy, and he said that mining is very boring business. It's uh. like, <laughs> from his point of view, uh, why you decided to jump into mining business? Why not another one? Like, well, what, I, what makes for you attractive this yeah. kind of a business? Well, I, 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 uh, John is a cool guy, but I think I, I would disagree on that okay. point. It's not. It's not really. Um, it's not boring. I mean, it's. It's. Uh, it's heavy. Uh, incredible when you're going into a mine uh, how loud everything is how hot it is uh, I think it's comparable to really like massive gold mining mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's an it's an, it's an exciting world there's a lot of research of how to improve uh, everything uh, on let it be from the chip level to the inf to the PCB level of the data center setup and and all that it's a, it's a real science and of course like um, though the farms are getting bigger and bigger and when you have to acquire power plants or um, you know, to increase your operations uh, then um, that's something that really that's uh, it's it's quite a fact okay thanks uh, Marco, when you first time heard about blockchain, right? When it was happened, uh, maybe you heard about Bitcoin, when it was... Uh, I think it was around 2011. 11. And uh, did you try to mine Bitcoin at that time already? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I tried to set it up. Uh, it was by that time, 2011 was really... Uh, yeah, well, it was like the community was very small and it was really like only ideas in the mm -hmm. space uh, a lot of people that were driven by fundamentals and uh, but why you uh, why you decided to join them i mean because, because I, I found it very interesting i i, I, I was really i found it very interesting that first of all the whole it's it's an economy that is fully mm -hmm. transparent uh, you could see every transaction on the blockchain 
you didn't know, of course, who was behind it, but you but saw it all the cash flows. Right, right. I think that was fascinating, the, and of course, the whole decentralization and the whole idea of of, of full transparency, of uh, um, of of, ev of letting everyone participate, not having uh, authority over the system. Uh, that's what what really was fascinating to me, and um, and that kept me busy in the space. Oh, nice. Uh, many think that right now we see like a revolution of internet with blockchain, right? It's like somebody's calling like this is web 3.0. First one was like when internet came, then mobile apps, now blockchain. What is your opinion? Do you think so? This is like not another level of internet right now with blockchain technology? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, I think blockchain is is opening up uh, a new dimension in a, of, of innovation uh, in a way that it is like in in all if you're looking at the various segments where it can improve uh, the technology um, uh, or not only technology but but various ways um, then you're really seeing that um, uh, the, it, it can fundamentally change something. One, one example, um, if you look at the financial world, yes. there is a very big uh, gap between the privileged world and the unprivileged world. Um, and if you look at it from the financial world perspective, there is no incentive f uh, to close that gap because for example, banks or everyone that plays in the privileged world has not really an incentive to, to, to help the unprivileged world because there's no e economic incentive. So how can a solution for that problem lie within that dimension, uh, basically? You will not have that. So the, uh, what, what is needed is a real revolution that comes outside of the system and that is where blockchain comes in. And blockchain has the fundamental approach to make it equal for everyone, no one is permissioned, um, and uh, to, to give everyone the, the, the possibility to join. And that makes it possible that some, suddenly, for example, uh, a talented uh, person in Africa who has who is cut off from the world uh, can, like for example, he can read in, in Wikipedia, he can learn how to, for example, do uh, coding, uh, and now with, for example, blockchain, or in that concrete example, Bitcoin, he's able to, for example, do coding work for a, for a, for a big corporation and receive money due to Bitcoin, where normally he would be cut off from the financial world. And I think this is really a fascinating perspective, and that's just one point of so many, um, like real estate ownership, it ma blockchain makes things more fair, more transparent, corruption, more le less corruption, and um, and uh, and yeah, and, and, and can really fundamentally improve the world. You are a successful businessman, investor. I will say even scientist, maybe kind of right. Uh, how about your daily life is looking like? What is your daily routine is looking like in, in normal life? Uh, I'm really, I'm, I'm since since the start of Genesis Mining, I'm constantly traveling, uh, uh, which is basically in the in the same sense of, of the the global in, uh, or in um, how can I say uh, international and uh, borderless nature of blockchain. I mean, right. the, there is I think rarely a space that is really so spread over the world and you have it really from everywhere, from each continent there are people fascinated about blockchain and um, and that keeps me like traveling of course to our mining operations that are spread all over the world but also to partners, to conferences and, uh, and um, um, what gives you in, in, uh, inspiration to do this because like visiting conferences, you don't have to do this, right? But why you do this? Like, what gives you power to do it? Well, I mean, f I live in this space since since long time. I think uh, I'd, I'd commit my life to that because I think that it will shape the world into a, into a better uh, or, or will bring benefits to the world. So, my goal, of course, is to be on the front lines, always to feel the pulse of the industry, and and uh, and and see how we can contribute. And uh, for example, the Genesis or Genesis Mining, or more importantly, like the Genesis Group, the, the bigger entity, we are uh, constantly innovating uh, and and try to um, to benefit uh, and and. Uh, uh, in, and push the space forward because 
like the the the, uh, the innovation is out there now, but still uh, there's, a, there's a lot of jobs now to do. Developers need to develop the right solutions and everything, and it feels really like the beginning of the internet. So I think it's yeah. probably the most fascinating world to be in right now, right. and uh, and I and that's that's why I'm I'm fascinated and and and, and, uh, and like to be on the front line. But still, uh, with your uh, daily routine, do you still have some free time for books, for maybe for movies? Yeah, I would like to have more time for books. Uh, I think that's, um, that would be good to, to have. I, I always try it and then and like, you, you wake up in like the blockchain world. world and there's so much dynamics in it that you read the news and you're already caught into things and uh, of course then you turn on your, mo uh, your mobile phone and you get tons of messages that really suck you directly in and then you have to you have to put the question do i really can i justify now turning that putting that aside and and read a book and it's really hard to justify that. I, I might be able to maybe, if I'm taking a more passive role at one point, uh, then maybe when I'm when I'm older, uh, then I, I might be able. But at the moment, this is. But do you remember maybe one book from the past, which was like for you was the best one, if, if you remember one? Uh, um, I, I like I like I like to, to uh, I, I I'm currently reading a book uh, very sporadically but uh, as as much as possible about uh, quantum computing and how that space is, is going forward and uh, yeah I'm see I'm, I'm always everything I do try to combine it with with blockchain okay, so. and uh, um, quantum computing is interesting because. Uh, like this is also a new dimension of, of computing. Like blockchain is a new dimension of uh, opens a new dimension. And, uh, um, and but every time I like I only manage to read a few pages and then and then I'm I'm I'm, I'm back again. But it's great. I'm 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 happy and uh, and I'm f I'm feeling like the world is getting more borderless and more international and things like having a fixed home and like it's it's more traditional if you're going like everyone in the space is living a similar life right there's yes uh, today i spoke with charles and he also traveling all around the world and he's saying it's very difficult to travel he's getting weights extra right from that and then he need to exercise that uh, do you yes he's saying that he needs really to spend that time for keeping to good, be in shape do you do some maybe exercises or maybe meditation? I don't know. Miko yeah. Matsumuro say that he is every single day in the morning doing meditation. Yeah, that's what I what I do. Like ten minutes okay. every day. I think that's that really helps to get your your mind mm -hmm. free. Um, uh, but more than ten minutes, I can't yeah. really afford. But that those ten minutes help a lot. But how how long do you do this? Like uh, meditation? S since I would say these ten minutes, I, I do that since more than two years now. Okay. Every day. And do you see the difference what you did before, like meditation? And yeah, now? yeah. Uh, okay. How about that? Maybe we will make a small kind of challenge with our subscribers that when the video will be live, they will ask interesting question, mm -hmm. and in a couple of weeks, uh, you will select the best one question you will answer to that question and maybe let's say you will give present a book with your signature or some kind of, you will select which book you want it what do you think about it yeah we can do that yeah. okay uh, so don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel btc tv and start asking interesting question and in a couple of weeks we will announce a winner thanks for staying and to be with us of course Thank you.